Hey everybody, um, I know everybody's probably been waiting for an update video and I'm just now been able to get one done. Um, I went to the doctor on Friday. Uh, hold on, I'll tell you what date it was. I cannot remember. It was Friday the 8th. I went to the doctor um, for my checkup. Um, everything's okay with like the incision and how everything went. Um, if y'all, the type of surgery I had was a laminectomy decompression lumbar. You can look that up. I had to look it up to see what all it was. Um, I did um, have some nerve damage. So on my feeling, uh, not sure it's gonna come back or not. They said that if it comes back, it will be, it can take up to six months to a year um, to get my feeling back. So <laughs> that is kind of, I'm impatient, I'm sorry. I mean, you know, I, you know, I need to go back to work and everything else, but uh, talk to my job and the type of job that I have, I have to be able to lift 50 pounds. So I'm probably going to have to, the doctor's probably gonna have to fill out forms for me to do a transfer to another role. Um, so I might have to, it might take me longer to be able to go back to work because they're probably gonna have to find me another position to go into because I'm probably not gonna be able to do the job I was doing because for one thing, um, I probably won't be able to lift that much, uh, that much stuff like that, that amount. Um, and also with me still having the numbness, um, and not having my feeling back and they are saying that I can still have issues with my back hurting. Um, also issues with like weakness in my legs. Uh, I might can have that. It's kind of like up in the air. They don't know exactly, you know, <laughs> If I, what I'll, will be, you know, I don't know what I'll, I'll start having, honestly. Um, I've been having, they still don't want me to lift anything, push, pull, uh, twist, turn certain ways. They want me to still not do that until I go back on the 27th. And that, I guess that's when they will probably do um, restrictions and all that kind of stuff for me to go back to work. But like I said, I don't know if I'll be able to go back to work doing the position that I was doing, I might have to go ahead. I'm gonna take the papers for them to go ahead and, and fill out, but I don't know if they'll let me go back. They had me actually off work until like August 2nd for like the whole six weeks. It's just, I go back the 27th for my recheck. Um, uh, let's see. I wanna thank everybody that has continued to send their prayers, um, who has donated on either PayPal, Cash App, Venmo, or on the GoFundMe account. Um, I still have the GoFundMe account up, so if you want to share it, you can. Um, <laughs> I've already been dealing with uh, the hospital bills already for, from my blood transfusion and the um, surgery. So I am the, um, they're still working on the on the one hospital because it was two different hospitals. Because when the the one emergency room this this near me, the one I went to that's the one I went to for the blood transfusions and that was the hospital I went to for that. But when I was at work, when my back messed up, they sent me to the hospital near them. So it's two different hospitals. So um, the one hospital for my blood transfusions they're still working on the charity applications and all that kind of stuff. They haven't sent me anything in the mail yet for me to fill out or if I need to fill out anything. Um, so it said, but it says that they're going through it because when I called them yesterday, they said that they were still going through all the papers that they had submitted, the application and everything. So they were going through all that. Um, now the other hospital, the one for my surgery, I am working on, they sent me the form in the mail for me to fill out and I have to fill out all the information and I have to give them like all everything, you know, I have to have like, um, last paycheck stuff. I have to have my W-2s from last year. It's like all this paperwork I've been trying to get together. Um, and then a, f a form for the, um, a verification form 
from my work. So I had, I have been trying to work on getting that filled out. So like I said, it's a lot of paperwork I'm having to fill, <laughs> getting to fill out to try to get um, some kind of charity or um, financial aid. Cause yeah, when they told me um, my, one of the bill, one of the hospital bills, I don't even know, I don't even if I want to say it on here, honestly, let's just put it this way, they're high. They are like really, really expensive. Um, I would probably, honestly, if I had to pay it all myself, I probably wouldn't be, they, they, they I would be dead before I finished, but before I was able to finish paying it off because it's about as much as a house. Um, <laughs> To buy a house honestly now let's just put it that way i won't say the amount but let's just put it this way it's the amount of my bill is is about like buying a house which i can't even afford to buy a house so um yeah so like i said um <laughs> that is my situation now um like i said i'm hoping that they can be able to get me in another position to where i can go ahead and go back to work as soon as possible because the fact that you know i have to pay the bills and you know i had to be able to pay the doctor bills back too some at least if i even if i paid five dollars a month on each one of them that's just what i'm gonna have to do um like i said but like um i i'm gonna stay positive because my mom told me she said you don't need to get net you don't need to think um negative or anything like that about your the feeling she said you know you need to think positive that you're gonna get your feeling back so I'm gonna think positive and hope that, you know, my, my feeling will eventually come back, you know, within the six months to a year. But it's hard to stay po it's hard to stay positive sometimes. And then, like I said, sometimes it's, I don't know. This, this whole situation, it's like the kids have even said they feel like this year has been total crap. They feel like it's been one thing after another. They, they're like, daddy passed away. And then, you know, it's just, it seems like it's, you know, one thing after another that just keeps on happening that they feel like it's never going to get better. So I feel bad. I, I have to stay positive for them because like I said, I don't want them to see me like depressed or negative about, you know, about all the stuff that's going on. I just pray that um everything's gonna get better and you know when we're gonna be okay so like i said um you know continue to um pray for us um like i said I, it's hard it's hard to talk it is hard, it's hard to, to talk about everything that we're i'm going through because like i said i just I don't know. I'm a pri I'm, I don't like, I don't, I'm a pri I'm private person in a way. And I just don't feel like, I don't like telling everybody everything. But like I said, I feel like a lot of you are family because ever since Billy passed away, I feel like, you know, a lot of you, y'all have been here for us with everything that we've gone through. So it's just, I feel like, you know, I, you know, I don't know, I guess feeling like, I feel like I should, you know, when I talk about it, it may, it helps talking about it because during this time going through all this, going through all these health issues with having everything going on and all this stuff, it makes me miss him more because he's not here to kind of like give me that supportive, you know, nudge and say, Hey, it's going to be okay. You know, we're going to be okay. We'll figure everything out. And you know, and all this kind of stuff. So it is, it is hard, um, dealing with everything without him. So don't want to get upset. Don't want to cry. <laughs> Cause, but anyway, it's, it's been, it's, it's been a lot to go through. I feel like we've been through so much and I'm just ready for a break to where we have good luck or something, or everything starts getting better to where we don't, I feel like, you know, I just, I'm just, I'm just waiting for the day that everything is going to get better and, and this year is going to be better and it's not going to be so much to where we feel like, you know, so bad about everything. But yeah, um, I don't know, like I said, but anyway, I just want to thank everybody. I do, um, I, I do appreciate everything that everybody's done. 
and I hope that y'all stick with me and continue to see my updates and see how I am. Um, po me posting things to for sale on uh, both channels. I'm gonna try to post videos on both channels, and then that's another thing. The um, I honestly, because of my back, I might not be able to dive anymore by myself. So. If I ever die, if I do ever get to dive again, I'm probably gonna have to wait until like one of the kids are off and have them go with me. Um, but I probably won't be able to do it by myself because, unless it's something that's like up on top to where I don't have to lift up nothing really heavy. So like I said, we'll have to see about all that kind of stuff. Um, but other than that, I'm gonna try to keep posting any kind of videos that I can just to keep posting. Um, because I feel like, you know, it keeps me busy too right now when I'm off. So, but I have been um, trying to post more stuff on Macari and everything. So, um, like, uh, if you want to, you can check out our Macari link. Um, it's in the community post. I put it in the community post in the, um, in the uh, description. So, if you want to check it out, you can go to the community post and see where I put it in the community post. And I will put in the, in the description in this video, I will go ahead and put um, all the information in this description so y'all can have it in that one too. And like I said, I wanna thank everybody again and make sure you like, subscribe, share, and uh, we will see y'all next time. Bye.